Right, so today we're going to go through and I'm going to show you how to edit out bad language out of tracks using Ableton's live software. I do a weekly radio show on BBC Radio 1, so obviously we don't want to offend anyone unnecessarily on the show, so unless there's a real reason for the swearing to be in the track, I always just take it out just to be on the safe side. Obviously, due to the nature of the tutorial, there is going to be some bad language in this, just so you know, before we get started. And here's the first track that we're going to edit down. So I'll give you a play of what it says originally. Error, error, error. The question is, have we already reached the motherfucking point of perfection? So in there, it's kind of, it's just like a music bed. So I don't think there's any fancy editing we need to do with that. We just literally need to chop out the offending word. So um, if you just play through and find out exactly where it starts. Have we already reached the motherfucking point of... Right, so that's where the MF starts. So if we right click on there and split... Motherfucking point of... Point of... And that's obviously where we're going to want it to continue from. So right click again, go split, literally highlight the bit that you want to get rid of, tap the delete key. And I think there we'll just be able to drag one up to the other. And have a listen to how that sounds now already reached the point of perfection so that sounds all right but there's a little bit of a pop when it moves over so if you click on the right hand side if you click on this and choose fades it gives the option to cross fade between the two samples where they're together so if you just drag them over you can see where it's going to cross fade and it'll just smooth it out a little bit there so we'll give that another listen now we already reached the point of perfection Already reached the point of perfection. So I think that's passable for that edit. So that's a very easy way to get around it. Next up, just do the really simple M&M style radio edit when you just literally cut out the word that you don't want anymore and then flip it and reverse it, which is quite a nice way of doing it, especially if you're doing something that's kind of got syncopated music underneath because then you're not going to lose time is if you just chopped it out as we did in the first one. So I'll just play again so you can hear what the original sounds like. And only way for your redemption. So motherfuckers, are you ready? Let me see you. So again, as before, you just literally find the part that you want to edit and split it at either side. So we'll just find where it starts. So motherfuckers, are you mother and then so drop your cursor in there, right click and split. Motherfuckers, are you ready? Are you ready? And find out where you want it to go from again split highlight the um the naughty words and then this time instead of deleting it if you look down at the bottom there's a little reverse option down here so if you just simply click that that'll flip it backwards and you can play through and listen to that and the only way for your redemption so that's another little simple way around the problem. Okay, we're going to get a little bit more technical for the next one. We're going to use Ableton's time stretching with it. So it's kind of a combination of the first method, but also not losing any of the musical timing either. So I'll just play it through so you can hear it first. The world is my motherfucking playground, homie. And I'll never back down. So as we did in the first one, you find out where the word you want to edit out is. And then right click and split. And then find out where you want it to continue normally. And then right click and split again. As we did first time round, delete it and then what we're effectively going to do is stretch out this little bit after so that's longer and it'll fill in the gap so we're going to find out where we'd want it to carry on normally from so that seems like a good point so again right click and split and as we did in the first one move this part up to that to make sure that it crosses over and it sounds okay the world is my playground homie and then to get rid of that gap now, 
we're going to time stretch this middle part to fill up. So select the part that you want to time stretch and is where you have to make sure that this is changed to complex rather than repitch otherwise it's just going to slow it down and play it at a lower rate and then you can choose the times two option by the tempo which will push it through and then we'll give that a listen the world is my playground homie and i'll never back down so that works quite nicely on that one it's another way of doing it Right, final way I'm going to show you how to edit out bad language using a plugin on the Mac called Effectrix. So don't worry if you're a PC user, you can use Glitch as well. It's pretty much the same thing. I think it's free that as well. So I'm just going to play you um, the sample originally. Yeah, yeah, I know what y'all thinking. I'm a DJ, I'm a chick. I am sucking someone's dick. Classy girl. Right, so first thing we want to do is put in the Effectrix plugin. So if you go to your custom plugins and choose whichever you want to use. And then play back through the sample, but keeping an eye on this part of the screen here. And then you want to see whereabouts you're going to need to draw in the effect. So if we just play that back through again. I'm a DJ, I'm a chick. I am sucking someone's dick. Quite lucky there that it actually falls right at the start of it so uh, you can use any effect that you want but you want to make sure you get something that scrambles the audio enough so you can't hear it uh, and my favorite here is the x loop so if we just draw that in and play it back through and make sure that that catches the word completely I'm a I'm someone's I'm yep so that definitely gets it uh, i think you can play around with some of the settings to get it sounding a little bit better than that maybe change the size of the sample and have it pitching down. Usually it adds quite a nice dramatic effect. Play that back through and make sure it sounds okay. I'm so that's pretty cool. Maybe take a little bit more off the pitch. And then obviously that's just gonna keep playing over and over again, all the way through the track. Which you don't want. The way to get around this, you can either automate the device on and off but I'd say with some of these kind of glitchy effects it can be quite temperamental at times so if you want to guarantee to get the same result every time I'd recommend bouncing out the audio to a separate track so I'll just show you how to do that if you right click insert audio track and then on this you want to choose the incoming audio to be from audio one which is this channel up here so basically whatever plays in here is going to be sent to this channel if you arm that to be recorded, and then if we play back through and then hitting record at the top, it should capture whatever's playing into this channel. So I'll just do that now. I'm a D, I'm a G, I'm someone's I have Right, so that definitely got it there. Now we can jump back to the first channel, delete the Effectrix plugin, so that's no longer going to be in there. So if you listen to this channel played on its own, it's back to as it was before. DJ, I'm a chick. I'm sucking someone's dick. And then I was just keeping an eye down the bottom. That's the part of the audio that we want to use. So if, as we did in the first one, right click and split. And then we can drag that back a little bit probably. Delete that little bit before it that we don't need. And then literally just drag that up and replace the audio there. And that should play through. I'm a DJ, I'm a chick, I'm sucking someone's I have So that's always going to do it exactly the same every time there. So uh, there are just a few ways that you can edit out bad language from a track for any budding podcasters or radio presenters. Hope you found that useful.